Imagine, you've been working countless hours on an animation in Cinema 4D. It should have been one of those quick jobs. But the client can't make up his mind and makes yet another request after rendering this animation for hours and hours. So now you will have to go and model his stupid emoji and render the whole thing over again. Or do you? Changing a color could be fixed in After Effects, for example. But adding a model probably needs a whole new render. However, in some cases you can get away with just rendering this one small part. That is, if it's just a small part of the overall frame. So here is how you set this up. First, enable your interactive render region. Now place this over the part that has the new model on it. Also make sure to scrub through your timeline and adjust the frame, so the changed object is always inside of it. Also, don't forget to count in the shadows. When you think you have this right, go to the render settings, under the Output settings we have this Render Region option, enable that, and open the small drop-down next to it. Then just press Copy from IRR and it will transfer the frame we just set up to these new fields. If you render again now, it will just pay attention to this small region and give the rest a black background, saving you precious time to do better things. When that render is done, all you need to do is importing this in your video editing software of choice and mask the portion you need while the original is on a layer below it. Here's an extra tip. You can also use this method during a first render. For example, I know there will only be moving parts at the center of this whole frame, so just render out one still frame to start with, then render the small region at the center. So that is what the render region function can be used for.